Hey everyone, this is SB Studios, and today I'll be showing you how to set up your EasyCap, um, with including the software with it, so you can record um, pretty high quality and for for pretty much an, an unlimited amount of time, just depending on the size of the um, drive. So yeah, so here are the materials. Um, you'll you will of course need the um, AV cables for your Xbox 360. And then obviously your easy cap, and with that should have came um, the installation disc. And then optionally, it depends. You'll see later in the video, but optionally, this thing called a three-way coupler. Um, these are for the um, the component cables, and I'll get to that later. So for the best sound quality, um, first you're going to want to take the um, case off of the easy cap. Um, it the case. Although it has um, holes in it, it um, causes it to overheat, which makes the um, the audio very scratchy. Um, so you can just pop this off. Just comes out. There's some there's some cords there, but um, you don't have wires. I mean, we don't have to be um, worried about those. So this is for the setup process. You'll want to first plug in your Easy Cap with the um, with the case taken off into a USB. 2.0 port. Mine's just on the side of this computer. I don't know why, but then that's how it is. Your computer should recognize. Then you're going to want to pop this in and start it, and then it'll come to a menu, and you're going to want to install the drivers. And then after you're done installing the drivers, you want to install the ULead video editor. That is what you can use to um, capture the video. And if you don't have like Windows Movie Maker or something, you can edit the video on that software. The next thing to do is to um, set up your capture card. Um, what I figured out works um, for the best quality is you have your S video for your Xbox and your S video for the um, uh, the capture card, the Easy Cap, and you're just gonna plug these in. So these are going to go in to the back of your TV to an open port. So then, the data, oh, and then this also goes to the back of your Xbox. I have my HDMI cable plugged in because that's the kind of TV it is. Now you have your EasyCap set up, and everything is ready to roll. You do not um, need to turn it on your console yet. You can if you want to. Um, but now you need to just find the um, ULead um, editor that, that came on the disc. You do not need the disc to start it up. I have it on my little bar at the bottom. You just click it. Um... Sometimes it takes a while to open up, so I'll just skip to where it's open. Now that the uh, ULead Video Studio is up, it'll come up with this um, this image where, well, not really an image, I mean, you can do stuff, but it'll say um, Capture, Edit, Effect, Overlay, Title, Audio, Share on the top, and it'll be on the Edit tab. Um, this will all be blank for you, um, but I've just recorded a lot, so you're just going to click Capture right up here. And then that is going to come up with capture video, DV quick scan, um, and import from DVD. I'm just going to click the capture video in the on the top of that. It's going to come up with um, like all the options and stuff, the duration, source, format, capture. You're just going to click OK on this. That doesn't matter. Um, it should say Syntec STK 1150 if it does not, because you might have a um, a webcam um, plugged in. You can just pick it from the source. Um, format, you can do whatever you want for that, if you want it, um, AV, MPG, whatever you want, um, and then the capture folder, you need to obviously put where you're going to capture it. Oh, and then this is another part that I want to, um, talk to you about. You need to make sure that the, it, that the videos are being captured on a drive that is what's called NTSC, I want to say it's called, um, or something like that, there's FAT32, and um, another sort of um, drive, and you want it on the other sort. I think it starts with an N. Um, but yeah, because if it's not, it'll stop recording after about two minutes, two and a half minutes, and that's not very good if you're trying to record a long video. Um, so you need to make sure it's on that sort of drive. And then you're going to click Options, Video and Audio Capture Property Settings. Oh, this is another thing. You want to plug in, I mean, turn on your Xbox um, or PS3, it doesn't really matter. Um, so that's on, and then it should come up with an image, right there, as you can see. 
So you're going to want to make sure the input source says S video. I don't know why mine isn't coming up. Um, but it, it should say S video. It might be on um, TV in or something like that. Um, but you want to um, change it to S video. TV system, it depends where you live. But if you live in the United States, it's going to be NTSC. Um, then you don't have to mess with the audio and stuff. Um, color, don't have to say in capture. Um, you do, don't do anything with the compression um, and keep the same uh, frame size, I guess, because I try to do other frame sizes and then they come out weird and oddly shaped. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. You can just click OK and then you can, it'll take a minute to go black for a sec. Turn my, turn my controller so I can show you. So then what, what's going to happen? Um, so you're going to capture video, it's going to stop for a sec, it's going to freeze, and then this timer, this is a lapse time, that'll start up. Then, afterward, um, you can switch back over to PC, stop recording, or stop capture, I mean, and then that will take a second, and then you can go in to your, um, into your folders, to wherever you did that. I went to um, H Modern Warfare Capture Card. Um, oh wait, no, that was in a different place. NTSF. Um, NTFS. Okay, that's that's the name of the type of drive you need. NTFS. If you go into Properties, um, it'll say the file system. It'll either say FAT32 or NTFS, and you want it to be only NTFS um, because um, it allows a uh, larger files in there. And there's the video of what I um, just recorded. So that's that. So that's pretty much how to set up a um, an easy cap with pretty good settings and it's pretty simple to do. Um, and if you're wondering um, why you would need this, I already had the link earlier in the video, but if you're wondering why you needed this, the link is also in the um, description um, if you're wondering. So um, yeah. And, um, that's pretty much it. You know, you can take that video, edit it in Windows Movie Maker or whatever you use, and put it up on YouTube and stuff. Um, the quality isn't that great. I mean, it's just an easy cap, so you can't really expect much for 10 bucks, 15 bucks, where, depending on where you bought it. Um, so thanks for watching. It would be, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe, and I might have other tutorials in the, um, in the future, if you have any questions or problems when setting up um, your EasyCap, please feel free to um, comment below um, asking what your question is, or you know, you could send me a private message, doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching.